The word sustainability gets thrown around a lot these days in the popular press, in academia, and in government. We are told that humanity is faced with the threat of dwindling energy resources, the collapse of our economic institutions, and increased global climate change. So it is no wonder that the concept of sustainability resonates with us. And nowhere does it resonate as loudly as on America's family farms. It's important not only for us as growers, but it's important to the consumer too, so that they know and understand that we are doing more with less on our farms. We're using less fertilizer, less chemical, less pesticides. Uh, we're saving fuel, so we're saving energy. Um, we're, we're reducing the amount of greenhouse gases that we emit by putting in our crop. And so that's why sustainability is really important for, for all Americans. Every day on planet Earth, we grow by over 200,000 people. That is 150 new people every minute. In the next 40 years, our global population will exceed 9 billion people, up from 6.7 billion people today. Luckily, family farmers are making rapid progress toward meeting the needs of a growing world and doing it with the environment in mind. Yields have doubled in my farming career and I expect they'll double again in my son's farming career. We like to think we really take care of the land. The motto for our farm is our soil, our strength. And we've always really concentrated on making sure our soils can produce the best crops, but also that we don't lose them. We practice reduced till. We were innovators in no-till and zone tillage. We use cover crops. We try to minimize every pass we make. We have tracks on all our equipment so we don't hurt the soils. We try to rebuild those soils with organic matter and leave them better than we got them. Now today I'm holding corn stover. This is a residue that's left over after we harvest our corn crop. So this would have been in the field a year ago and by uh, planting right into this without disturbing it, like the bean field behind me, uh, it eliminates water runoff and, and allows us to use less pesticides to control uh, weeds. One benefit that we've seen on our farm by switching to no-till is, is increased corn yields. We've been able to retain soil moisture and, and with the BT events and the Roundup events, we've seen a steady increase in corn yields on our farm. Another benefit of no-till is uh, soil erosion. We have, we've, we've decreased our soil erosion, and this is a national statistic, by, by 44% uh, from wind and, and uh, water erosion. We use automatic steering and our GPS monitor to help us eliminate overlap, track data, and save chemical on the farm. Through the use of satellite technology, we can produce maps showing the yields that we get in a particular cornfield. These yields and these maps also help us determine how much fertilizer we need to use on that field for next year's corn crop. As you can see, sustainable agriculture refers to our ability to meet the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs, satisfying human demand for food, feed, and fuel, while continuously improving our stewardship of natural resources will be a challenge, but one we are already tackling successfully today. People today are concerned about the technology that's being adapted in production agriculture. But I kind of equate it to this car here that's 40 years old. Now it's a beautiful old car and it's really fun to drive. But if I had to drive to Des Moines, Iowa, which is three hours away, I wouldn't begin to take this car. It's not safe, it's noisy, and it's old compared to the new car that I have today, which has safety bags, uh, anti-lock brakes, air conditioning, a sound system that's fantastic. And it's no different than the technology that we're using in, in our cornfield today. We use the latest in genetic improvement, reduces pesticides, reduces herbicides, which is weed killers. The yields are going up, they're doubling. They've doubled since this car was built. And that's why we use them, because it's safer and it's more efficient and it makes the cost of food in this nation cheaper and much more affordable to everyone that eats.